Hey, my name is Cheryl Spangler, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to purchase the cryptocurrency called Game. Now, you can do your own research on this. I'm simply showing you how to buy it using uh, Uniswap and MetaMask. And this is something that I uh, refrained from using for a very long time because I was confused on how to do it. So I'm just going to walk through and go for it. Okay, so Game Starter is um, up and coming. It's actually already at a dollar, and that's why I want to just kind of start slowly purchasing some now. But and basically, it's going to be a launch pad and marketplace for games. And every game it launches, in order for them to do transactions inside the games, they're going to need to pay with the game coin. And so this is something. And the other thing I thought was interesting is Oculus. Um, it's just it's got a lot. You do your own research on it. I'm just going to show you how to buy it. So right now, the only place that I know to buy is Uniswap. So in order to do it, um, first thing is you're going to need to open up a couple tabs. One is uniswap.org. Okay, that's where you're actually going to do the swap of, 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 in my case, Ethereum with the game coin. And we're going to purchase Ethereum. And I'm going to transfer my Ethereum to um, my MetaMask wallet. And I'm going to show you all this in a minute. And then I'm going to use the MetaMask wallet, which I is basically a Chrome extension, which in this case actually is a, a brave extension. Right. Let's just start from the beginning. Gamestarter.co is the website for the game coin, if you want to know a little bit more about it. If you want to look up the game coin, you can go to CoinGecko or you can go to CoinMarketCap.com. So I'll just go to CoinGecko for a minute. CoinGecko.com, you can look for any kind of coin. And the reason that you would want to do this is because if you're concerned that you might get scammed or that someone has put or that you can't find the exact coin address, then you basically go here and you type in game and you see the game starter shows up. And then when you click on it, if you're really concerned and you want to make sure that you absolutely buy the, the right coin, right? Because sometimes there's currency letters that are the same or there's people scamming you saying here's the address for various coins anyway so you go to coingecko.com you search for the coin you want when it comes up um, here you've got the uh, let's see where is it right here the contract address this is basically the address for the coin you want to purchase. And here you can see add to MetaMask. And this allows you to add the coin so that you can swap it and know that the address that you're using to buy it, the, the address that you're using to represent the coin is accurate. So the point is, if you want to know that you're buying the exact right coin, and it's not one that's on a, um, like a, a big exchange, go to either coinmarketcap.com and you can see the contract address for this particular coin is here. Or you go to coingecko.com and you can see here that the contract address is right here. So now that we know where we can find the address, where we can identify the coin, um, we need to transfer, we need to, we need to buy some Ethereum. So I have already purchased, I purchase on a regular uh, basis. Um, Hold on a second. I purchase on a regular basis every Thursday using uh, Coinbase, some Ethereum. So I'm just going to use $300 that's in my Ethereum wallet right now to purchase this much. And once I record this video, then later I'll just buy some more at some later date. So I'm putting in my authenticator, two-factor authentication. And logging into my Coinbase, which currently only holds whatever Ethereum I bought last week, because everything else uh, sits on a ledger for me. So I have $316. So I'm going to go ahead and trade $300, and I'm going to send that to my MetaMask wallet. And you're like, what is that? How do I get that? Okay, so while I'm logged in, um, oops, yeah. Yeah, 
so three hundred dollars. So let's sit, sit sit down for just a second and let's go over to uh, MetaMask. If you go to MetaMask.io, you click download. And this will say, are you downloading MetaMask for Brave browser? Are you downloading MetaMask for the iOS operating for them for your iPhone? Or are you downloading MetaMask for your Android? Now, because I'm on, I'm actually on the Brave browser. And I prefer to do all my buying of cryptocurrency on Brave because I just don't trust Google. But if you were on Google, then you would download for Chrome. So it says supported browsers. One thing to note, once you download MetaMask and install the MetaMask extension in your browser, let's say you do that like I'm doing it right now in my Brave browser, you can't flip to Chrome and then just expect it to work. You actually have to, right here, install MetaMask for Brave. In order to work, in order for you to then flip over to, let's say, um, Google, like I am right here, um, I would need to uninstall MetaMask from Brave and reinstall it the, into the browser for Google. And that's just something that I realized when I tried to flip between them and I'm like, why isn't this working? It wouldn't allow me to log in. It wouldn't find, and, um, it wouldn't use my password. So that's why. Anyway, so you would want to say install MetaMask for Brave. And it says you're about to install MetaMask extension. Well, in this case, I already have it, but right here you would say install to Brave. So once you do that, it literally takes two seconds. Then, let's then it's installed, and you know it's installed because up here on the right hand side, okay, go to the right hand top side of your internet browser. Right after you installed MetaMask, go to the top right of your internet browser, and you will see these like ex this little puzzle piece click on it that means these are the extensions that are currently installed in your browser and one of them is metamask and you want to click on that if you don't come up here to the extensions and click on metamask your actual metamask wallet will not open that's how you open it and for a long time i was confused and couldn't get that to work <laughs> so click on metamask and it actually opens mine, but let's just say I, you know, I mean, you can log out. You can log out, but what you would want to do when you first do it is you're going to want to create a MetaMask account, create a password. And I also put two-factor authentication on that. And then you will be able to see this because then you'll be logging in after you create an account. But for me, I already have an account. And so... It, it just automatically logged in. So I already had my password in. So this is kind of a weird thing to look at. I totally get that. If this is the first time you're installing MetaMask, it does look weird. It is a Chrome, it is a, an extension to your browser, which I don't feel is very secure. So whatever I like to do in MetaMask, I'd like to transfer my coins out of MetaMask to Ledger or somewhere, right? And so right now I actually do have some coins in here, but I don't like to keep them. I need to move them out. One is, um, SPO coins. Uh, one is tech, which is crypto tech. And that's another gaming coin I bought a little bit of. And uh, the reason I haven't moved them out is because I can't move them out without paying so many, so much ETH, Ethereum gas fees right now that I would lose like $100. So I'm just kind of waiting to I need to set my alarm, wake up at 2 a.m. and do it because between 2 and 4 a.m. is basically the cheapest gas fees because there's simply not a lot of people on the network, so the network fees are lower. So anyway, I have these. I need to. I can't even swap this coin SPO with game because the fees on Ethereum are so high. It would take more than $68 just to swap to a different coin. Ridiculous. So anyway, how do I get money into my MetaMask wallet? Well, this is the this is the account, or you could say your address to send money to your MetaMask. So the first thing you need to do once you install MetaMask is you have to put money in it because you cannot swap with any coin without money in it. And typically, I would stick with Ethereum because Ethereum swaps with everything. But you can swap 
Bitcoin, you can swap Ethereum, and I believe you can swap Tether and USDC. So I have this uh, Ethereum in my Coinbase wallet, but if you want to click on these three dots and go to account details, you could also take your phone and scan this barcode and that would also make sure that you're sending your coins from let's say Coinbase to this MetaMask wallet properly. Or you can copy this, you know, copy. Um, but I'm just gonna do copy to clipboard. So the only thing to do here in MetaMask is know where to send money into and buy and send money out of it or swap inside it. And so you can see kind of my activity is that I tried to swap. I tried to swap and the, the fees were so high I couldn't do it. So I just kind of canceled some stuff. I tried here and it failed. So I was just like, screw it. So anyway, um, right now I'm going to, I'm going to copy it again. I'm like, I'm not over a copier because I like to make sure that it's copied. So I want to send money here. So let's just do that now. So go to Coinbase. And I know I have some Ethereum, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to send all of my Ethereum to Control V, which pastes in my copied content, which is my Ethereum, or which is my MetaMask wallet. And it's going to say you're paying with Ethereum. And I'm going to say continue. It says you're sending 309 because there's a slight fee. Total of 313. It's going to take less than 10 minutes. Send now. It's going to tell me that sending crypto is irreversible. If you basically, if you fuck up, you're screwed. And it's looking for my two step verification, which, oops, <laughs> I have on my um, Authenticator app. And I say confirm. This transaction usually takes less than 10 minutes. Say done. And you can see that it basically is gone. Boom. Gone. Um, hold on a second. I mean, if you go to assets, I basically now have nothing but three cents. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to go over here to, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close down this ex MetaMask dot. I don't need to install the, the extension, so I'm going to close that down. I'm going to go to the MetaMask. Well, it doesn't matter what site I'm on right now. I just need to go up here to the top right and click on extensions and open up my MetaMask wallet. And it already came in. $338. I had $27 in there. It added to it. Now I have $338. I can click on that and it says received 30908. So see it happened really fast. Now we want to swap for the coin we really want to buy. So now I want you to go open another tab to uniswap.org. And once you go there, this is where you're actually going to be swapping the coin. You're going to go to uniswap.org and you're going to launch app. When you launch the app, it takes you to um, this tab I had open, but let's just open it again. It takes you to this tab. You can't do anything here until you have your MetaMask wallet installed. And so since we know we just installed the MetaMask wallet up here on the top right, where you this little, um, this little icon is, click on it, click on MetaMask, I mean, it just, you have to continue to go up to this extension icon and click MetaMask just to open it. You're not doing anything other than opening it. You switch to another tab, you got to go to the icon and open it. And if you go to uh, open up Uniswap, you got to oh, go to the icon and open it. MetaMask is installed in your browser, but every time you open up a new tab or move around, you just have to go up here and like kind of open it. And so uh, I'm, it's open, I'm logged in, I've downloaded it, I've logged in, I've sent money to it, I, it's open. So what I wanna do now is I want to actually, we know that I have money. So let me just go over here, see how here there's 0 0.09581, 0 0.0958. Uniswap, when, it, when you have MetaMask installed in your browser, Uniswap 
app.uniswap.org knows what you have and allows you to swap. So this is how I originally swapped to purchase the SPO coin and the tech coin. I was just, so here I want to say, okay, yes, swap the maximum that I have with, and in this case, I still have the game coin address copied. So I'm going to say control V paste. It is pasting in the address I copied from CoinGecko. And it actually says here via CoinGecko. And um, enter. Okay, well, it took it. It's loading. No liquidity. Click to trade with version 2. Okay, so click to trade with version 2. And now it is saying, okay, I would end up buying 287 game coins. It would cost me $325. And I don't think I have that much. Um, oh yeah, let me do a swap and see what it does. It will reject, trust me, if I don't have enough. Output is estimated, you'll receive 286. Okay, let me just see this. Opens up my MetaMask, because that's what it's using to swap, and it says insufficient funds. So before it basically takes my ETH, I'm gonna reject it. Now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to basically say um, uh, let me just do six confirm swap you basically have to play this game with Ethereum on how much it's actually going to cost you for a gas fee. Okay, well, it says it would take it then, so let me just say do it. Transaction submitted. Now you can view this transaction happening live on basically etherscan.io and it looks like it's going to take it and you can see that it had success, it did swap it, and it cost me didn't actually cost me that. Well, yeah, I mean, it cost me $39 to basically swap $233, which is stupid. But I wanted to buy it, so I did. And it's, uh, let me say close. Now, if I go up to my MetaMask icon, or to the icon of extensions, and I click MetaMask, and because I'm wanting to know where's my coins. Um, in here, you click on assets, and it says, okay, well, now you've got $67 left of ETH, uh, two cents of W ETH, SPO, tech. Now I want to add the coin. Custom token. I mean, control V. Okay, it showed the address, shows the game, whatever. Next, game, add token. I owned two I own two hundred and twenty four. So now let me go back to account and now when I scroll down it will show okay you have two hundred and fifty six dollars, two hundred and twenty four game, seven thousand nine hundred and eleven tech, which basically stands for crypto meta, crypto meta, SPO and ETH. I want these off. Like I don't want these sitting on here. So I will need to open up my ledger, connect my ledger to my le I open up my ledger live, connect my ledger, and transfer these because they are simply Ethereum tokens. They're ERC20 tokens, which means they can be transferred to ledger. And I want to get them off here. The sun is shining. I knew it would. The world's a playground. I'm in the clouds. Let me show you what it's all about. Check it out.